all you gorgeous people. Thanks so much for tuning back into Sam Loves. So today I'm going to film for you a Primark haul because I went into Primark and I bought loads of things and I really wanted to wait and film this for you to share all the things that I've bought. Okay, let's get started. First thing that I picked up in Primark were these navy blue shorts. Now I love the pops of pink all throughout the pattern and think that they're really kind of chic and a little bit different. I love the kind of, it's kind of like an animal mully print but kind of like random blobs of, of pink have been shot through the material so really pretty, um, just shorts. There's a little concealed zip at the back and it's kind of like um, brings you in at the waist. So, so pretty, perfect for summertime. And these were £10 but actually they were part of their sale rail so they were like £2. £2! Like so cheap you can't even buy like a big mac for two pounds so i had to grab this when i saw it the next thing that i bought is a white crocheted top which looks like this and i think this is going to be absolutely perfect it's going to be a real staple for festival season so i like going to a lot of festivals or just like just going out and sitting in the park in the summertime so this is going to be great also for beach wear as well so you know you could wear like a bikini underneath it wear it with some hot pants or a little denim skirt so perfect for summertime and just oh i just can't wait for summer and this was eight pounds eight pounds i also picked up a vibrant watermelon pink top now this is short sleeves and it's a very lightweight material which is really nice and also what I love about it is this um, statement necklace detail. This actually is detachable so if you wanted you could wear it without but I really like the pearlized buttercup detail all the way around here. I think it um, it makes it quite different and it's really really pretty and actually it's not too, too different from the colour that I'm wearing today so that's a bit of a colour fail but um, I really like this design and it's going to be great with a pair of like skinny jeans and it's just kind of like loose as well so that's nice and this was £10 and then I also okay so I really love lipsticks as you can probably tell from my other videos I love lipsticks I love bright lipsticks and in particular I love rock, rocking a red lipstick so when I saw this top I was like wow and it's basically a black cami with red lipstick marks all across um, the vest so this is brilliant it's so fantastic so I'd actually probably wear this on date night so um, really versatile and this was only four pounds four pounds that's so bargainous I love it so much now I'm not one for moaning but I wasn't that impressed with the selection of dresses that they had in Primark just for some some reason none of them were floating my boat but I did pick up one and it's this navy dress here. Um, I really like the kind of bold pops of colours and the flower designs. So it's short sleeve and kind of comes in at the waist and then goes out. So it's kind of like a skater skirt, um, but not too like whooshy at the bottom because I'm not really a big fan of that. And there's a concealed zip at the reverse. How much was this? 15, 15 pounds. Oh, that's quite expensive for a dress from Primark, but um, I like it so much, I'm going to wear this to work. Primark have got a massive selection of t-shirts at the moment, and I picked up this t-shirt. Oh, I've just noticed it's called My Neppy Tea. Neppy Tea, that sounds like a nappy. That's such a, what a weird name for a t-shirt. Anyway, um, I've picked this up in grey, so um, it's quite loose fitting and what I plan to do, um, I might wear this in my next video actually, I'll just dress it up with some silver chunky jewellery and actually the arms were like um, boyfriend arms, they were like that but I basically unpinned it because I think it looks a bit more flattering when they kind of droop down a bit more. So this was um, 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 £4. Just a grey t-shirt, just a, a basic jersey and I also picked it up in pink so this is what the sleeves did look like and then I kind of like unpicked the stitching so that's a really nice colour as well. Another basic that I picked up was this white long sleeved top, long sleeved here right, with like dark denim jeans and some heels, quite nice for um, date nights or just coffees out, just really easy, Not you just don't have to think too much which is really cool. And then, so even with that white top, I would pair it with this necklace that I bought. And it's this silver necklace here. I hope you can see it. And it's got a gold triangle just here. And it's got silver bits as well. And it comes up quite low actually when you wear it. But I'd wear it with that white top or even the grey thing because um, it's so nice. And it's kind of like reminiscent 
of the egyptian -y times like aztec because of the triangle it's quite cool and it was a bargain of three pounds so i mean that's a i think that's a really nice addition to my jewelry collection actually speaking of jewelry right well, i'll tell you a funny funny story um my friend one of my very good friends went on a date with a guy once and she was wearing a necklace and I, I can't I don't, I, don't, I don't know what the necklace looked like but i can't imagine it was too outrageous and he said to her is that real or is that costume jewelry like really who even says that on a date to a girl that they potentially want to be with like that is just like a boy fail, a date fail. Who even says that? Is that costume jewellery? That's so like, oh. Anyway, random story, sorry. I very rarely buy bags from Primark because I had one that I bought um, like a year ago and I really loved it. It was like a red with a shiny kind of mock croc print on it. And it actually broke on me while I was standing at a platform at Waterloo and literally the contents of my bag spilled across the platform and I was just absolutely like, I was just like flabbergasted now and, and all these people were helping me gather it all up and stuff it back in. So anyway, I, it takes a lot for me to buy a Primark bag, but when I saw this cream one, I was like, it's a really, really nice bag and I'm going to make an exception. So it's a lovely cream colour. So it's really versatile for spring, summertime, all the colourful things you're going to wear, it's going to go down um, with a, it'll, it'll go with loads of things and also what I really liked was this metallic kind of like covering on the sides front and the sides of the, of the bags so it's going to protect it from like being bashing it around everywhere and I also really like this little magnetic clasp so um, just just flops and closes and it's got a sort of silvery chain strap and you can extend it so you can wear it on your shoulder or like a, over like as a, as a messenger messenger bag and inside there is loads of space so there's a compartment um, for two little things in here you could probably put your mobile phone and there's a little um, zipped bit there so you can put your oyster card and your, your money when you next go out so I actually really like this and I am praying that it's going to last and this was six pounds i also picked up the cutest of beauty bags and it's this cream quilted beauty bag with this pastely pink bow which i think is such a nice little touch and inside it's really generous in size so you can pack and throw in a whole load of stuff um cosmetics toiletries blah -de blah -de blah and it's going to be great for like um, weekends away or like holiday season. Have you guys decided on where you want to go on holiday this year? Um, I haven't. So actually, why don't you leave me a comment below and let me know where you would like to go on holiday this year because I would love to hear um, and have some ideas really because I have no clue this year. Anyway, so this is a really, really nice little beauty bag and it was only four pounds. One of my subscribers um, recommended, because they know that I like false eyelashes, um, recommend that I try out these sultry lashes. So um, these are really nice, they're quite feathered at the end, so I'm hoping they look gonna look quite natural. And they were only a pound, so I picked up two. I also usually buy my cotton pads from Boots, so, or Superdrug, and they're usually about 150 for like a column of pads. And I noticed that um, Primark had two um, lots so it's two times 80 pads so 160 pads for a pound so these are really really good value for money much better value for money than boots or super drug i mean one pound each i i picked up two you know one is never enough so i picked up two of those and then um one of my staple things that i always go back and repurchase from primark are these hair clips now they're just plastic hair grips and one's brown, like a tortoiseshell brown colour, and one is black, and they're just plastic. And basically, I use these for when I just want to tie my hair up really quickly and don't want to faff with a ponytail thing, hairband. Um, literally just twist the hair up and whack this in, holds it in place, and it's just great, like, if you're cooking or you want to take your makeup off. And they're only £1 for, like, two. So, I mean, the only reason I really repurchased this is when I've sat on, like, an older one and snapped it in two. I also picked up some white flip-flops. How cute are these? Love the silvery bits on these straps. So, so pretty. Perfect for beach, um, summertime, even schlepping around London. I'd probably wear this with a maxi. And I chose the colour white because it just kind of goes with everything, which is, which is basically what I need. And this is four pounds. I've picked up these gorgeous beige wedges. Now, look at those wedges. 
how nice are those? Um, I've seen expensive alternatives of these in other shops and these were only £12 and they're super duper comfy because you have that kind of bulky heel so you're not like on a stiletto and it's much more like comfy and just supportive and then I basically had a mahoosive shoegasm when I laid my eyes on these my goodness look at the wedge on that and the platform but I know they kind of look a little bit unpractical but I think that they're just so fab and I'm determined to make these work so I really like the white strappy detail at the front I think they're really quirky and you can kind of show off the um, your pretty toenails if you paint them and the beige kind of fastening here and I love 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 gold fastenings so that's really nice and they just look I think they just look so much more expensive than Primark and actually these two are very very comfy I kid you not so these are going to be great for, for um, summertime as well and there's no price on them but I can't imagine that they would be more than 12 or 13 pounds okay the last thing that I bought at Primark actually let me explain to you why I think this is such a great buy so do you ever get out of the shower and you've wrapped your towel around and you're either like sorting your hair out or putting your um, cleanser or moisturizer on and you always get that thing annoying thing when your towel slips and you're hefting it up all the time so when I was in Primark looking around in the nightwear section I found the wonder wrap have you seen this a wonder wrap it's basically a towel with straps so straps to keep it on so it doesn't keep you have to hefting it up and also velcro just here so it's got velcro all the way across so that's the whole entire thing um oops let me put this back um it's got velcro all across so you've got easy access to whatever it is you want to get to down there so for me this is a great great buy especially when i'm getting ready to go out in the evenings that is so annoying doing that and trying to do all the other stuff that you know girls do so it's got pretty little pink hearts on the back and actually at the front and all the way here and what I really like, where is it, is the little heart, po heart shaped pocket. Okay guys, here ended my haul. I really hoped you enjoyed watching this video and just I've enjoyed sharing the things that I've bought with you. It's so nice to just sit down and chat and have some downtime. So let me know if you've seen anything Primark that you think I should check out. Do leave a comment below. I always read your comments and it's really touching actually that you take the time to bash out something on your little cap um, computer. So I really, really appreciate that. Um, all my social media links are down below, so hit me up on that. I am a very avid Instagrammer, so follow me on Sam Loves Insta. And I will see you in my next video. Now, for my next video, do you think, what do you think? Do you think I should do a what's in my bag? Or do you want to kind of like a get to know me kind of video? So like maybe like a, a 50 facts about me. Um, makes me a bit nervous possibly doing that because you kind of like open yourself up. But um, if you guys want to see that, then do also let me know. Don't forget to subscribe for any new viewers that are watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on all my future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Love you lots, stay safe and enjoy life. The first thing that I picked up in Primark are... Um, uh, Oh. Hi! Oh. Ah, la, 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 la.